I was born in Botswana in Southern Africa, a beautiful part of the world. Moving to the UK at 13, it was quite a, a big transition, a completely different country, different continent, different culture. Trying to understand what I identify to has been quite a bit of a struggle over the last few years. I guess everything about me is British, but of course I was born in a completely different country, so I am born Motswana, but identify as a Brit. We actually moved to Stoke-on-Trent in 2010 when I'd applied to university and I realised at that time that I was classed as an international student, which I thought, oh, this is weird. So I sort of inquired a little bit more and realised as well that myself and my mum had to renew our visas. So what I thought would be a few weeks took a few years and our application process became an asylum application. We got moved by the Home Office to Stoke-on-Trent. Both myself and my mum were taken to a detention centre. All of the people that I met in there would say, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm like, well... No one should be here. In that, it meant that I wasn't able to um, obviously go to university, I wasn't able to have a bank account, I wasn't able to drive, I wasn't able to, to do so much stuff. The process just kept on going until, well, two and a half years ago where we got our stay. That's what sort of kept me in Stoke-on-Trent and actually I'm so grateful that I did stay in Stoke because I met some amazing people along the way. I think my story, I hope, represents other people's stories and with it being exhibited, it's being seen by loads of people. Settling. Um, gosh, I've never thought about that, actually. Having been a nomad for so long, moving around, either physically or mentally, and just being at peace with where you are. I know that I represent so many other people and I have a platform to be able to be the voice for those who wouldn't ordinarily have a platform like I do. I love photography because of that um, and, and, and just the stories you can tell um, and pass on.